All right, guys, welcome back. We are back in Montauk after our brief upstate hiatus. And what can I say? Got a day where tide looks perfect. Get out here. Finally clears up in the second. I kid you not, the second we get out in the water, you see it. We got fog everywhere. Now, we do have a fish finder with GPS. However, we are not going out far because we do not want to get run over by a boat. So we are going to hang out here until things get a little clearer, which is not ideal because our stated goal, our mission, our MO, modus operandi, is to catch a very large fluke. And that is not an easy thing to do inshore. But you know what? When it comes down to it, safety first. So we're going to stay in. We're not going to drift out any further than the shore that we can see. And we're just going to see what we can do in close because we want to make sure we are good to come back tomorrow rather than risk our lives for a stupid fish. But you better believe as soon as this fog burns off, we are going to get out there and we are going to try and find that big doormat that we've been looking for all season. Stay tuned. So fishing the Spro Bucktail, four inch gulp swimming mullet. We're going to upsize that once we get out a bit deeper, but right now that's what we're working with. Not really expecting anything too big, but you never know. Caught some very nice fluke inshore before. To tell the truth, the biggest fluke I've ever caught, which wasn't huge, it was just shy of seven pounds, six and three quarters. I caught it in probably the amount of depth we're fishing in right now, 12, 13 feet, give or take, fishing from a dock. That was a just shy of seven pounder, in very close. Granted, that was when I was, I don't know, 12 years old. Uh, fishing was a little different back then. But you know what? We are gonna give it a shot, so here we are. Fishing shallow, getting back to our roots. Tide is about to peak. Got about another hour or so left of the flood. Before it peaks, go slack, and then we fish the outgoing. So this tide is pretty much close to slack, and I can't really do anything until this, this fog clears, so I'm just casting it out and just jigging it off the bottom and hoping that I can encounter some fluke just to cover a little more ground and make, make this lure a little bit more enticing to the fish. Getting some action, but small fish, I presume. All right, we picked up a little rain now. Fog's burning off a little, but we're still gonna hang close because this weather turns south. We wanna make a quick exit inshore. So that's what we're doing. All right, we're gonna make a drop over here. We're getting pretty close to the spot. As you can see, the fog is gone, but we got some serious rain. This is supposed to be the worst of it. In the next 30 minutes or so, this should clear out. Uh, we're not quite to where I want to get to yet, but I'm getting a lot of marks off the bottom, so maybe there's something good down there. Let's find out. All right. Oh, I already had a bite. So yeah, there's definitely something down there. There he is. Oh, got some weight. What do we have here, but folks? Fighting kind of funny. I don't know what we got. Ooh, we got something big. Something that wants to fight. About 50 feet of water. Not even to the spot yet, but we got something heavy. Oh, nice fish. Nice fish. We'll start with him happily. Turn him around. Turn him around. Stay down, stay down, stay down. Oh no, oh no. Stupid net. Stupid net. Yes! <laughs> All right, we'll take him to start. First fish. Let's get a quick pick and a quick measure. I think that's probably 23, 24 incher. Good fish. 
Very nice fish to start on. First fish, probably 23, 24 inch, I'd say. Really nice, good start to the day. Get some nice fillets on this guy, definitely. All right, quick measure. Let's see what we got. It's about 22 and a half. Sure, we'll start with him. Pressing this bag off right. We're trying that drift again, pouring rain and all. That fish I just got came in about 40 feet of water, fishing a one ounce spro bucktail with a four inch swimming mullet that's partially mangled. We got a fat cow jigging strip. There was a huge school of bait fish that was marking. I don't see it so much anymore. Maybe we'll come back on it, but we're just gonna hit that drift one more time before we make it out deeper. All right, so we're pretty much up in the spot right now. We've already got one fish in the cooler. Let's see if we can find a second. And as usual for the last couple of weeks, we are not keeping something unless it is really nice. So 19 inches need not apply. Need not apply. Let's get it down a little bit. I don't want to drift into that lobster pot and lose my bucktail. Would not be cool. All right, we're down. Wouldn't be, be kind of nice if we got a few sea bass in the boat since we're keeping fish today. But I'm sure since we're keeping fish, they will be extra elusive today. Oh, dang, already on top. Oh, man, that's another fluke. All right, so we're definitely back on the fluke after a long hiatus of catching these things. Very cool. This thing is, doesn't feel too big, but it's got some weight to it. Oh, wow, that's a lot bigger than I thought he was going to be. That's a nice fish. That last one spoiled me. <laughs> All right, that's another, gosh. <laughs> 21, 22 inch right there. He is going nuts. He's going nuts. All right, so let's see what this one measures up to. My guess, 21, 22. Let's see what we got. Oh, he choked it too. Yeah, we're, no he didn't. Thought he choked it. It's a nice fish. We're gonna keep him just to solidify dinner. Let's get this out of here. Let's not lose our rod. That would be very nice. Fish number two, 21 incher. Probably in the neighborhood of about three pounds and change. If I had to guess. At this point, we are not keeping anything, not keeping anything, unless it is in, I don't know, five pound class. All right, so we already got two keepers in the bag, a 21 incher and an almost 23 incher. Uh, that's a really nice haul so far. I haven't been keeping fish for a while, so today we are harvesting fish. And I'll continue to harvest, but at this point, I'm not keeping anything. Oh wow, we're getting some good marks right here. 
we're not keeping anything unless it is in the five plus pound class. So that's probably about 24 inches. Definitely doable with what I've heard. So fingers crossed we can make it happen. If it's gonna happen, now is the time. So here goes. And here comes the snotty weather. Oh, wow. I don't think that's gonna be the monster we're looking for, but who knows? He hit with a vengeance. He's, this could be a heavy fish, actually. I'm not expecting this to be huge, but it could be very nice. I have a feeling this would be the third keeper of the day. That's a fluke. It's not really fighting. I knew it. Oh no, he's just snagged. No wonder. That's actually not an awful fish. Oh boy. Chill, 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 chill. You're going home. Don't worry. Don't worry. They're not going to measure up. Don't worry. Even if you were big enough, I would throw you back. And away you go. Everyone wins. It's okay. It's okay. Sim it down now. All right, so we're going to switch just to see how it works to a five inch uh, grub gulp. Uh, I would have mullets, but unfortunately I couldn't get any of them uh, where I'm at right now. So this is pink and white. See if this makes a difference. Slightly larger profile to throw out the fluke. Sea biscuit calling it. Sea biscuit or sea robin. Baby biscuit. Easy release. Definitely a fluke day today. Last couple days has been that I've been out here. It's been all about the sea bass with just a few fluke mixed in. Today's the inverse. Not too many sea bass, quite a few fluke. Sea bass. Might be a better size one. Best one yet, but he's still not quite the size I want to keep. Rip the tail off too, which is great. So we're gonna put the, the fat cow jigging strip on the bottom. See if that could still muster up some hits. Got him. Flukey dookie. Oh, baby fluke. You will go back. No doubt about it. Ah, oh, you took my jigging strip. That's not cool. That wasn't part of the plan. All right, I'm pretty much falling off that major point of the drip, but we'll just see if we can extend it a little further to see if there's anything holding on the periphery of this drift. That's a fluke. A decent one. Doesn't feel huge though.
They definitely like that fat cow gulp combo for sure. You're not gonna make the cut though, which is good for you. And I didn't even, well, wasn't even recording. Just let go of a 20 inch fluke. And didn't even get it on camera. It's okay, I let him go. And now I'm making a mess. All right, so we just caught and released a 20 inch fluke. It was like a hair over 20. Thought I was recording, but I wasn't, which is a shame. I wish I did have that on video though, if only to show you that I actually caught the, well, hooked the fish. It dropped it after about five seconds fighting. I dropped it right back down and he jumped right back on it. So sometimes you hook these fish, you think they're, they're gone. Uh, definitely drop it back down because sometimes, not all the time, they will go right back after it. So it's not over till it's over. Right back down after letting that 20 incher go. That fish took uh, my gulp. So I'm just gonna fish the gulp until the tail's nipped off, which shouldn't take too long. And then we're gonna throw the fat cow jigging strip back on when that happens to save some gulp and some money, hopefully. Tide is definitely starting to move a little quicker, but still totally fishable. So let's see what happens. Got a few more hours to kill or fish. No rush. I'm willing to fish as long as I have to to find the right fish. But I've already got enough fish for dinner, so that's cool as well. It'd be nice if we can get that big one. Right now, technically I've gotten three good keepers in the boat, but I let that one go because I'm leaving those last two slots open for a very large fish. Oh, dang, come back, come back, come back. I feel like my tail's already been nipped off. Voracious little sea bass. Oh, baby. Hit hard, doesn't feel so big anymore though. Doesn't feel that big at all anymore. Well, just drifting with the tide. It's running, might be a bluefish. That's gotta be a bluefish. Yep. All right, let's try and get this guy off without nipping the tail off or losing a finger. Come on, chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. Chill, 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 chill. You're going home, don't worry. Just want my fingers. All right. fish it is oh no 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 what the hell just happened thought it was stuck jeez that was a bummer okay with this drift really picking up the pace we have upgraded to a one and a half ounce bucktail still fishing the five inch uh, gulp grub and the second that gets nipped off, we will throw the fat cow jigging strip on. But let's start without it first to see what we can do. That's a fluke. Not a big one, but well, it's starting to feel a little heavier. Pulling him against the tide. Is it a fluke? Could be a bird. Or a bass. Wasn't expecting that. It's definitely the best of the day, but still nothing to write home about. Let's not get finned. That would not be fun. Alright. Get it back down.
Got a fluke. Big sea bass, I think. Big sea bass. Definitely. Definitely the best sea bass today. Jeez, this is a big one. We'll take him today, too. Gotta be a big sea bass. That or a Mondo Porgy. Oh, yeah. Well, that, this guy. Oh, stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. All right. That's the best one I got in a while. Biscuit right there. Definitely take him. Nice solid fish. Alright. Let's try and get him in that bag without getting thin. That will be quite the challenge. Okay, okay, so that's gonna do it for today, folks. And what could I say? Obviously, it didn't start off with ideal conditions. It was foggy and then pouring rain. Uh, fortunately, not too much wind. But even with those crappy conditions, we found some good fish at first. Uh, the only unfortunate thing is as the tide kept moving, we kind of lost the fluke bite. Got on some good sea bass. Well, one good sea bass and a bunch of shorts or not such big keepers. But overall, I can't complain. I mean, I walked away with two fluke in the bag, one sea bass, and I threw back another fluke that was 20 and a little bit of change. Fortunately, I didn't get that one on camera, but good day. Not necessarily great, but good. So, not discouraged. Uh, happy with what I got. Didn't get the door map, but it's just gonna make us try. It's gonna make me wanna try even harder. So, hoping to get out maybe tomorrow and or the next day. And if I do get that doormat, you guys will definitely know. So see you guys later. If you liked the video, subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment. Thank you for watching, and I'll see y'all later.